here in Diamond City after getting all fixed up. So I'm now in almost tip-top condition. I need, just need to drink some water and I'll be fine. I've sold off all my extra weapons and ammo to cut down on weight so I can carry some more important things. And I think I'm ready to head out. I'm going to try to rush the main storyline to get to the Brotherhood of Steel as early as possible. I'm also going to do uh, fire support this episode so I think I'll do that this episode and save the main storyline for the next one uh, so I'm gonna head over to the police station and I'll cut to that see you later okay I'm now fast approaching fire support so I need to help out the brother rescue members here by killing all bunch of ghouls which shouldn't be that big of a problem I hope small chance to get overwhelmed and die instantly Damage. Um, let's see. Try some instant mashing <laughs> some melons. So you know. Anything useful? I don't think so. You need more food. I am a little bit worried about the rest of the fission though, because if Ferals can do this much damage, then I might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, let's see. Really wishing I took Lead Belly now. Okay, there we go. Hey, we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. Yep. You're a okay. Vault dweller? So Most this should let me get into the Brother of Steel as soon as I they actually arrive from the main quest. If I appear suspicious, it's been since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth. We've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we can... I agree. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Okay. Another bonus to the Brotherhood of Steel is if you get quite a few good yes, pieces Reese. of power armor that have legendary on effects on them. I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Don't have the then key. let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, they've got antibiotics. That'll help a lot. The weird glitch where the door won't open after something goes through it. Pretty valuable. At least for the weight. Yeah, I'm looking for some more fusion cores now because I am going to run out eventually. It's probably good for me to have one melee weapon or another in case suiciders try to get me. I mean, not melee weapon range. How would it dance? You ready to move out? Just quit screaming. Ready? Outstanding. Sure. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. Okay. Uh, 
I'll try not to lag behind Dan since he's staying there casually. Are you gonna? Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. <laughs> Same glitch. One long loading screen later, uh, I'm ready to go. So. Do I actually have any, any any ammo for what I'm trying to use? I kept a 10 millimeter because it's actually pretty useful for taking out things like turrets, which are impossible to reach, and super mutant suiciders and likes like that. I guess they really don't need this. There are some raiders up ahead, but I don't think they're going to be that difficult. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived. They broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. I actually never noticed all of these. Are these like on the back of a truck or something? No? Okay. Anything good in here? And there's a Porto Diner. Okay. Raiders. Let Dance take the fire. I'm not even sure that one died. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Ooh, Bladed Tyrant. I'll have to check how good that is. 67, 45, yep. Okay. I'd be able to upgrade the machete too, so that's why I'm keeping it. Go faster. This thing takes up so much of the screen, it almost blocks out a massive part of my field of view. No, I can't see the blood fly over there. Okay, I'll take these ones out. Alright, they're effective with pain train. Ooh, I leveled up. Didn't take that much damage. Oh, I level up. Oh, I can take Heavy Gunner too. I'll probably grab that. Uh, I'll just check around a little bit. Yeah, I'll take Heavy Gunner too. Okay. I can one shot these things in this game. Melee is a lot more fun than I originally anticipated it to be. Meat, food. <laughs> I 
Is it even possible? I can see it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Almost there. There it is. Arc jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security. I think my energy damage is or damage resistance is way less than my normal damage resistance, so I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, it's significantly less. I'm still gonna be more than halving all damage, but still. There's a lot of lasers. And I think that Dance can do all this on his own. But then again, that is losing out on all the XP. pistol. Look at these bricks. Paladin Dance, look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. I can't remember if there are any turrets or anything. Am I going backwards? Or... No, okay. The simplest puzzle in the entire game of going to this terminal, finding the password, then going over to the other terminal. so bad. Oh, a shock baton. How much did that do? Uh, where is it? Okay. 37 and 18? That's terrible. Okay. Unless something has unbelievable normal damage resistance and has no energy damage resistance, that is on the future. With no help, I might have to. I need to get out of here. Oh, I can take him, can't he? I'll try to take him down with the rifle. Anything useful? I know there's a fusion core somewhere in here, but I'm probably gonna spend a fusion core just getting through here. When can I take nuclear physicist next? Fourteen, so three more levels. Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. Go back to the tower. Remain vigilant. Yeah, you can take those up. Good job. Yeah, I guess I can take out a few of them. Or not. Good 
job, Dan. You just stand right in the line of fire. Anything useful? I don't think so. I'm gonna try to pick up the junk jet in here. Trying to get all the possible goodies. both have a headlamp, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm just gonna run the engine so I can uh, get this over with fairly fast. The junk jet might actually be useful for me at some point. I'm not sure. Do I have a whole bunch of free war money, or do I have? Aluminum cans. I'm gonna load all my uh, useless stuff into there. Okay, I think that's about it. And fusion core. Actually, I don't need this, do I? Actually, I do. There we go. Oh, first, <laughs> first try after that other one. Power restored, power restored and press the button. Thermal engine fuel command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. And no matter how much armor you have on, there's no way that dance would actually ever survive this, but you know, whatever. Currently debating how useful the junk chat actually is. Arguably for survival, it means you don't have to carry much ammo at all. You can actually use uh, pre-war money, which is totally weightless. But the junk chat also has pretty pathetic DPS. Still, it could make a good option for a uh, heavy weapon to carry around. After all, the, all that five millimeter ammo that I have is kind of weighing me down a fair amount. I'm 
technically you can reuse the ammo. Yeah, this is not working out well. Okay, what do I need? Uh, do you have any more cooked food? Grilled drive stag. Yeah. Take that. Found it. Service elevator to the surface. Oh, really? I thought we were going to go deeper. Okay, um. I'll reload this. It's actually accidentally unloaded it before. Not like there's actually that much I want to put in here, though. Oh, yeah, pre war money. I can put that in there. My current stats with all my different buffs. Strength, endurance, and agility are actually pretty high. So I think my natural agility is one, so that means the flames paint actually increases it by three, which is really, really good, especially for vets. Yeah. The flames paint drop drop has effectively quadrupled my agility. Take some more stuff for the junk jet. Because pre war money is pretty valuable. I'm not sure if it's actually determined on the weight of the items you load into it, how much damage it does, but it probably isn't. From at least my experience. Coffee cup. Not the microscope. I put the mole rat teeth in, and the mole rat hide. Where's that clipboard? BNC. What is it actually called? Oh well, that's enough. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian. That being so said, the laser rifle now that I can basically not use. I think you'll find this one may it serve you. Yeah, Racious Authority is normally a pretty good laser rifle, especially if you're doing a fairly high luck build, because you can get massive, massive critical damage with this thing. I'll probably Bad sell it necessary. off, though. I insist you keep it. The Brotherhood believes in paying all of its debts. Now, sure, we had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you, you could spend the rest of your life wandering from to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward, or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel. So, what do you say? Okay, I yeah, I'll join. join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the police station, and I'll see you back there. He shows a lot of promise. Yeah, back here at the, the station guidance, with Dance, I think he getting has promoted the and brought into the Brotherhood of Steel. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? <laughs> My camera's glitching out right now. On. I'm getting a nice view of Dance's shoulder. I don't have to prove anything to you. Yeah, you do. You need to prove that you weren't going to put a round in my back the minute I turn around. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. 
If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. If you fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Okay. I am now part of the Brotherhood of Steel, so as soon as their airship arrives, I should be able to get aboard, and I should be able to fairly easily get myself a new set of power armor, so that'll be good. My old set's getting kind of old. Just a little bit. I always find it interesting that they don't actually have a power armor station here, considering they are the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm pretty sure they could have brought one in from somewhere. It's a pretty vital piece of equipment. I'm going to head back to Diamond City, but for now, that's the end of the episode. So, I'm going to end it off here, and I'll see you next time.